What's up YouTube? Here is one of my um, 3D printers. It's a small mono price. Um, Select Mini. This is the first 3D printer I actually got. I haven't messed with it for a while. Uh, I guess you can connect this to Wi-Fi now and you see um, it now has an IP address. Um, when you're not connected it'll say no connection. But I want to make a video of this because I've been having problems trying to get it on Wi-Fi with all the other methods. And this method I just used is the easiest way. So I have my SD card in here right now. But I'm going to head on over here to the computer. Here's your directions. Um, the link on here is mpselectmini.com. And uh, you click Wi-Fi and there is a G-code file. Now the G-code file you download is called Wi-Fi setup.gcode. And I'll add the text for that file um, with this video on YouTube. Now, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open that up. And I open this with Notepad. You can use any text editor. And here is the actual uh, G code to get your um, printer connected to Wi Fi. <clears throat> it has some basic directions here, but basically, what I did is you come down here to this line and you remove the SSID and you'll type your um, internet pa uh, ID there and then um, you'll take out the password and you'll add your Wi-Fi password there make sure you know you have your caps added don't add any extra spaces on in between the letters or at the end anything like that it also said to make sure there is a blank line here which we can see it it's flashing when I click there so there's a line there and then once you have all of that saved, what you're gonna do, or once you have all that added, I should say, we'll go to file, and then we're gonna save that as. And you wanna make sure what you do is, you wanna keep it at Wi-Fi setup, but you wanna add .gcode, and then you'll click save, just like that. Ask if I wanna replace it, yes. And then you'll take this file, which I have right here. I know it's showing a notepad. That's normally not what a G code looks like. It'll look like most likely whatever you choose to open it with. Um, but you'll open that with your, um, put it on your SD card. Once you get your SD card in here, then you can go over here and select print on this specific model. And I'll go through all my files and I'll find the one that I was just, we was just talking about, which is the Wi-Fi underscore setup dot G code. Now they have this setup to where when you do this, um, for it to confirm, it's the printer will center, which the printer um, isn't, or is already centered right now. So let me move it a little bit. So that way you can actually see, um, let me get it out of the, let's see, jersey. I want to move that down just so you can kind of have something to uh, see on my end. All right, now I'm going to go back to print. And now I'll go to Wi Fi setup.gcode. And you'll see, like I told you, you know, it'll center. That's verifying that it. Uh, receive the information that's how they set up the g-code and then you can go back to home it should say finish and then you should see that your printer or your yeah your 3d printer now has a uh, ip and uh, we'll go from there and we can use cure i believe um or there's some other programs to be able to wirelessly print for this if you're not wanting to keep using the sd card or if um you're not wanting to use the USB. In my case, my desktop is all the USB ports on the back are taken up and I don't want anything, you know, bulky added on the front that I don't already have here. Um, so I'm going to be messing with this little guy um, to um, print over Wi-Fi. So hopefully this video helped.